I just got a brand new sewing machine as you can see behind me and I can't wait to show you the really cool features this one has. Hey guys, I'm Tammy and welcome back to my channel. If you follow me on Instagram or you subscribe to my email newsletter, you will know that I am a brother ambassador and they sent me a brand new sewing machine and also a brand new overlocker. So I wanted to pop on and show you guys my new machines. I absolutely love them. I'm going to show you in this video just the sewing machine. If you also want to see the new overlocker, definitely let me know down in the comments. So this is my new sewing machine. It's the Brother Innovis VQ4 and I absolutely love it. You can just see how high tech and cool it looks. And this is very much an advanced sewing machine. My first machine was actually a Brother. It was the LS14S, I think. That cost around 80 to 90 pounds on Amazon at the time. This machine retails around, I think it's around three and a half thousand pounds. So it is a very expensive machine, but what it does is absolutely incredible. So as you can see, this is the machine right in front of me you can see it has a really big touch screen and it's just so nice and bright and then also you have a really nice light to it and that actually can be adjusted to be brighter or dimmer if you want so if i just start all the way down here this is the button to actually start and stop sewing without having to use the foot pedal so it can sew automatically for you and you can actually change in general how fast or slow you want to sew you can see it's got more triangles that way which means it's going to be quicker or you can have it all the way down and it will sew more slowly i like to have it in the middle in general this is the button to reverse your stitch and back stitch this button, I think is the needle position. I'll have to double check that one. I've not used that yet. This is the needle position to go up and down. So if you wanna push it into the fabric or raise the needle. This button is to cut the threads automatically. This is a really good tool to use. It's so simple to use and it just means I don't have to snip the threads. This button raises or lowers the presser foot as well. Now, one of the main reasons I really wanted this specific machine is the fact that you can actually self-thread the needle so you don't have to thread the needle anymore. Honestly, it's such a game changer. Let me show you what that looks like. So what you have to do anyway before you thread the needle is push it through this little notch here. And then all you do is basically slide it through and you literally press the self-threading needle and you'll be able to see it, it threads itself. And then if I just bring that out, you can see that the needle is completely threaded. When you turn it on, this is a screen that you get and you basically get all your normal kind of stitches and you can actually go through and pick different ones like different buttonhole stitches. And just in general, there's just so many on here. But if I just bring you down here, you can see that you also get to change the width of the stitch, the length of the stitch, the left and right shift. I think that might be to do with a needle and then also the tension of the stitch. So there's lots of different things for you to play around with. So one of my favorite features of this machine is the fact that it has a laser as you sew, which you can turn on and off. It's such a cool feature, it feels really high tech. So let me show you what that looks like. So this is the feature that I honestly love about this machine. If I press this button, it turns on the laser and then you can also adjust where the laser sits on the machine. So let me just show you what that looks like near the needle. So this is the normal sewing machine area. If I press the laser button, you can see the laser comes on and I can also move it wherever I want it to be. When I move it, you'll also see it on the screen so you can align it to whatever stitch that you're showing. You can see it's moving right there. So how you get to the decorative stitches section is you press this button and then you've got all these types of different decorative stitches. There's so many to choose from. If I just click any one of them, it takes you through this whole menu and you can just press down and go through all of them. There's actually so many to choose from and obviously so many categories to begin with. You also have this section where you can embroider names and anything like that. I was actually playing with some earlier and you can see I had a play with this really cute little design and it was really, really easy for it to sew. I also had a play with it writing my name because you can also insert different characters to write words. If I just give you a proper close up of what that actually looks like, you can see how really clean and neat the lines are. I personally just love having a sewing machine that gives me the option to do really cool decorative stitches. One thing I really like as well is the fact it comes with lots of different presser feet. So let me show you what that looks like. So if I open this section of the machine up, you can see it has so many feet in here. You can actually take this out 
but it basically has all these different types of feet. It has a buttonhole foot. It comes with lots of different um, bobbins for you to use as well. And it also has a seam ripper and just different types of feet in here in general. I've not used any of them yet apart from the buttonhole foot and number N that was for practicing the embroidery. So I wanna go ahead and play around with these and let you know how I get on with them. But I like the fact it's really compact and everything's actually in the machine nice and neat. So I can just put that back in and close that up. We also have a compartment back here, which you can open up. At the moment, I've just got bits and bobs in there, but you can also put needles, any types of things like that in there as well. So this is the foot pedal as well. It's nice and small. It does come with an actual extra foot pedal you can put to the side of it and connect it, and that can have a um, different function to it. This at the moment, you just press it down and it obviously sews as normal. And then you can slightly press it once firmly and that actually allows it to cut the thread so you don't have to press the button to do that. I really like how nice and small this is. It's so easy to press and in general, it's just a nice, really simple foot pedal. With this machine as well, you can change how bright or dim you want the light for the machine to be. So when you're sewing, if you're sewing in the dark, you can have it a bit higher so it's easier for you to see. Or if it's a nice sunny day, you don't have to have the light as bright. So let me lift up this section of the machine as well. If I just pull it up, you can see this is where the thread goes and you kind of put that all the way around here. And then for the bobbin, this is where the thread goes for that. And you kind of put it round, put it into the bobbin case over here, and then you press the button on the machine and it will wind it for you. So it's really nice and simple up here. There isn't too much going on, which I really like, but I just really like how nice and clean this machine feels in the whole design of everything. One thing I wanted to mention as well, and I noticed it straight away when I turned it on and played around with it, is the fact this machine is probably the quietest sewing machine I've ever used. It obviously still sounds like a sewing machine. Obviously it's a machine, it's gonna make noise. But in general, it's actually much quieter than anything I've used before. I don't know why it is quieter, maybe because it's a brand new machine, obviously it's been oiled and you know there's nothing kind of inside of it. But I've just noticed when I'm using it to sew anything, in general, it's much quieter. Even when I've been upstairs sewing and I've said to my partner that I've been sewing, he hasn't actually been able to hear it. Whereas my other sewing machines, you could definitely hear that if I was upstairs and he was downstairs. So I don't know why it is quieter, but it is something I definitely have noticed, which I really, really like. You can see back here, it also has this handle, which is really handy. Obviously machines like this are gonna be really heavy because they're just, there's so much to it. But I like the fact that with this handle, it's so much easier to move around. I also bought these little felt kind of stickers and put them on the bottom of the sewing machine at all four corners just because I would like to kind of move it across my desk so I don't actually scratch anything and it's easier to move around. I'll make sure to leave a link down below on what I'm talking about. Also what's really cool about this specific machine is that it comes with lots of different manuals. If I press this button you've got lots of different options to kind of change on the machine but you also have the option to have a look at the manuals so how you can operate this machine and everything's digital which I really like so you can literally press basic operations and it tells you exactly how to thread the entire machine and it's literally step-by-step -step instructions. I've never seen this on anything I've had before so this is a really cool feature. There's also a video button where you can see a video demonstration of this as well. If you go to troubleshooting as well they have all these different types of things that might happen you don't know what to do when it happens like when your needle breaks or if there's skip stitches and you can just press any of them and it will tell you the solution for that. So really, really cool and something that I just really appreciate that they've put into this machine. So I can just put a piece of fabric underneath it to show you how it sews. I'm gonna press the button to lower the presser foot and then I'm gonna just gently use the foot pedal. So what I like about this machine as well is you can set it to when you press the cut fabric section, it will cut the thread and also raise the presser foot all in one. So I'm gonna press the button and show you what that does. So it means I can just take it away and it's just gone ahead and cut the thread. 
So obviously I'm still brand new with this machine. I only got it last week, but I've been really enjoying playing around with it. I just love how much more high tech it is. And I love the fact it has that really big digital touch screen. It's just something that I really didn't realize I wanted until I've actually had it. Let me know in the comments what you think of this machine. I do have the new overlocker they also sent to me. I think it's the Airflow 3000. I was thinking of filming another video showing you a bit of an unboxing of that one. So definitely let me know if you want to see that too. I just honestly like playing around with different machines, honestly. And I just think it's so much fun to see how they all differ and just realize how advanced and cool this one is. If you have this machine, let me know. I actually posted it on my Instagram and quite a few people reached out saying they have this exact machine. If I had to pick a favorite feature, I think it has to be the laser. I haven't actually used it yet in my sewing. I think it's because I've been so used to not using a laser to help me guide where I'm sewing that I forget that I have it. So I need to actually just get a project and actually specifically use it because I think it's gonna be such a big difference when you have to be really specific with where you wanna stop and start sewing. Even things like if you're sewing a dart, you can use the laser to guide you on where to start and finish your dart things like that is gonna be really, really useful. But I hope you enjoyed this really quick kind of chatty video with my new machine and I'll see you in the next one.